Annyeong, it's Mikey here. Today's video, guys, is gonna be on a budget keyboard. So, Rainy75 has been a big hype lately. Maybe this is another option for you. Uh, if you missed the Kickstarter, maybe you can go check out this from Epo Maker. It's a collab, and guys, this is only 98 USD before tax, uh, currently on sale, but 108 normally, which is a really good option. So, hope you guys will like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, check out the whole video. And hope you guys will like it and see maybe this is another option. So as you can see, the box for the Apple Maker Fec and Fecker is beautiful. It's an amazing box. Um, I really love the design of it. So taking a look inside, let's see what we get. So as soon as we open the box, you can see the keyboard. One thing I personally don't like are the keycaps. They seem so boring, but the case itself is actually made of aluminum. It's really nice. Uh, nice weight to it and a good balance. So we get a little box of accessories here. Uh, as you can see here, we're going to get some extra keycaps. Uh, they only give you two extra, but uh, it doesn't matter for us. We're actually going to replace these keycaps. I don't really like the base ones too much. Even lubed, and you'll see a little bit later in the video, they don't sound the most amazing they, they sound deep but has a little bit of a ting to it next in the box we get a switch puller and a keycap puller and then is the cable it's a white cable not the best quality cable to be honest it's a it feels kind of cheap but to be fair this is a budget keyboard for about a hundred dollars usd now taking a look at the keyboard itself i actually think it's pretty nice um, for how much you're paying for it. It's really not bad. It has a uh, Bluetooth, Windows, and Mac mode. You can plug in a USB cable to it. And it also has a 2.5 gigahertz mode, which you can use wirelessly with the dongle. So as you can see here, the dongle is in the corner right there, right beside the arrow keys. It's not the greatest, but um, it works well. And the design on the back, I think, is really beautiful. It is well designed, for sure. So, the stock is going to be on the bottom, which is ZXC. And the loop will be on the top, which will be the QWE. So for this build, because I'm building it for a friend, I'm actually going to be changing the switches to the Aqua Yellow. Very budget switch and very creamy and sounds really nice. This time the stock switches, not lubed, is on the top for the QWE and then ASD is going to be the lubed switches. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think sounds better, the Echo or the stock switches from Epomaker? So what we're going to do is take apart this whole case and see what's inside, what kind of foam is in there, how much foam is in there, and then see how we can fix certain things and make it sound even better. So as soon as we open up the keyboard, we can see that they actually put a lot of work. The foam, the, the gasket, I don't know why there's a plastic piece down there on the bottom, but we can see that, you know, 
they really put a lot of work in trying to make it sound really nice with the foam in the middle between the PCB and the plate and just the foam on the bottom yeah if you're looking for a budget keyboard this is a great choice for $108 USD uh, currently I believe on sale for 98 this is a really good alternative compared to a rainy 75 the only thing is I feel like the stabilizers don't sound amazing and they put so much gunk in there like a lot of lube I had to clean it off and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a fix on it so I'm gonna do a holy mod and make it a lot better So for the holy mod, I like to use band-aid, that's what's easily available. I'm gonna cut it small and then put it into where the in the stem itself where the metal piece will actually hit the plastic. And then I'll loop the housing lightly and then lube the stem itself slightly, put it all together and then put it back into the case. So now that that's done, I'm going to put in the new switches and I also got new keycaps which will be in the description below and I got them all off Amazon. Very very budget keycaps, budget switches. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and let me know in the comments what do you guys think of this keyboard you know, I built this for my friend um, I think it's a very good budget option uh, let me know what you guys think of the sound and uh, yeah with the whole changes of the switches and the keycaps I think it looks really good now uh, and I hope my friend will love it so I hope you guys will come back next time uh, make sure to please subscribe and support the channel uh, I want to keep doing more keyboard videos and you know hopefully I can grow the channel to something that allows me to do it even more so let me know in the comments though if you guys have anything else you want to see or uh maybe even keyboard switches that you guys uh, would love to hear all right see you guys next time